guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the single crochet cross stitch. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push the thumbs up button and share my video with somebody that you think would really like this information or really like this crochet stitch. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. That way you get notified whenever I release a brand new video. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects and you're really not gonna wanna miss out. So the single crochet cross stitch can be done for so many different projects. You can make it for a blanket, for a cowl, for a scarf, for a hat, for a bag. Oh my gosh, there are so many different ways that you can use the single crochet cross stitch. Um, I have found that the size four weighted worsted weight Aran yarn really shows the pattern well. It would be a great stitch to use with a bulky yarn as well. Uh, that's always a great tip to throw out there because sometimes it's hard to find different stitches to use with a bulkier yarn. I'm using a size I9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook just to really let that pattern show. Other than that, let's go ahead and dive right into how to make this pattern. Okay, starting with a slip knot, attach your crochet hook. Okay, the single crochet cross stitch pattern is done in a multiple of two. So I'm going to make my example swatch at 26 stitches, uh, but you make your item that you're making uh, as long as you need it to, do, to be to meet dimensions. You just gotta make sure that that number is also in a multiple of two. Okay, so let's start with our foundation row. One, two, three, 25 and 26. Great. Okay. For row one of your pattern, you're going to single crochet in the second chain from your crochet hook. So look at your V's. So first V, second V, single crochet in that second stitch or second chain. And you're going to put one single crochet in each chain all the way across. So go ahead and do that real quick and I'll meet you at the end of row one to show you what to do next. Okay, when, once you have reached the end of row one, you're just going to chain one, turn your work, single crochet in the very first stitch. So one single crochet right there. Then you're going to skip a stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Make sure your stitches are loose. You really don't want your stitches too tight here, okay? So there's one, and then you're going to go back to that stitch that we just skipped, insert your crochet hook into that stitch. Okay, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through your two loops, and that's your first single crochet cross stitch. That's it, okay? Repeat the pattern. Skip one, next one, single crochet. Make sure your stitches are loose. Insert your crochet hook into that skipped stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through both loops. Skip the next stitch. Single crochet into the following stitch. Insert your crochet hook into that skipped stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. That's it. Okay, so go ahead and continue this pattern all the way to the end of row two, and I'll meet you right there to show you what to do next. Okay, last two stitches here. Single crochet in that last stitch. Then insert your crochet hook into the missed stitch, skipped stitch. There we go. So you will end this row and it will look like this. It's not a very clean row. That's okay. What you're going to do next is chain one, turn your work, single crochet in that first stitch, and then repeat the pattern. Skip one, next one, single crochet, 
Insert your crochet hook into the skipped stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. That's it. Then the next two stitches, skip one, next one, single crochet, insert your crochet hook into the skipped stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. I guess the important thing to really note with this pattern is you really want to have a looser tension. That way it's a lot easier for you to maneuver your stitches. The second thing I really want to point out is because you do single crochet first and then the second single crochet that crosses over, it kind of blends in and it can be easy for you to think that this stitch right here would be your next stitch that you would skip and you'd go into this one and then go back to this stitch to cross over. But if you look closely, you'll see that that stitch was already taken by that first stitch of this crossover too. Okay, so pay close attention to know, okay, both of those stitches are taken these are my next two stitches. Okay, so I'm going to single crochet in the first and insert my crochet hook into the skipped stitch and single crochet in that second. So this stitch, even though it pulled that stitch and it looks like it's an empty stitch spot, it's not, it was used. So those two done, move on to the next two. If you need to use stitch markers to really help you to identify I used that one already. Okay, put my stitch marker right there. Now do my crossover stitch. Cool. Now I know that I already used that stitch. Remove my stitch marker, place my thumb on that stitch. All right, here's my next two stitches. That would be the only thing I'd say be cautious of because there's been a few times where I've found this stitch to be super simple. So I'm just whizzing through the stitch pattern and then I get to the end and I have one, one stitch remaining and I'm like, uh-oh, <laughs> I accidentally used a, a stitch twice. So I need to go back and fix that. So other than that, that's it guys. That is the single crochet cross stitch. Uh, you will just continue this pattern over and over and over where you get to the end, chain one, turn, single crochet in the first stitch and then begin your single crochet cross stitch pattern over and over and over again. Uh, it is your choice if you want to make your very last row a row of single crochets or if you want your very last row of this project to just continue doing the cross stitch pattern. Your choice. You don't have, there's nothing specifying it being one way or another, okay? Some people will really like that last row to be single crochets to make it easier to put a border on your blanket, but it's not necessary. And then that's how the stitch will really start to work up. It is such a, a such a pretty stitch for being something so simple. If you really enjoyed this pattern, you might really enjoy my other pattern videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial with me. If you wait to the end of the video, I will actually show a diagram of a approximate stitch count requirements for your foundation row, depending on which blanket project you might want to use this on. Sound good? Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys!